Hi, my name's Simon Hayter and today we're going to be discussing how to add a virtual host for Apache 2 so you can set up a main domain or a subdomain uh, on your VPS or your dedicated server or uh, a home server. Um, so let's not waste any time. The first thing we need to do is basically tell our domain um, our server. So I'm using dyn.com. Uh, reason being is my home server, my IP address is changes. So I'm going to use uh, dyn.com uh, purely for the fact that um, if my IP uh, my IP address changes, then my site's still accessible. Now you may have a uh, registrar and uh, website host. In that case, just use your static IP address and use the at records. Uh, which is uh, sorry a records um, or just change the name servers to your website host so you can ignore this step so I'm going to add uh, a new C name which is Mars I'm going to uh, put zant.co.uk because it doesn't use IP address it uses an aliases so I've created that and hopefully there's a Mars here yeah I can see it there that's fantastic so let's hop over to our box which is uh, my home box so you can see I've logged in via putty you can use any client you want um, but yeah so you can see I'm in the directory var www this is because by default on Ubuntu uh, Apache 2 will install uh, its local files to there so basically what we want to do is uh, add a directory um, for our new site um, tell Apache off our new site via uh, a config file and also make sure we set up the permissions correctly for this directory so the first thing we need to do is make the directory so I'm going to do sudo make dir which is sudo mkdir um, forward stroke ra forward stroke www I'm going to call it mars.zant.co.uk now the problem with that, uh, because I've made it using sudo, it's going uh, it's gonna to put ownership to Simon and um, the www data group which is used by Apache will not be able to access those files. So we need to sort that problem out. Um, now I have added Simon to the www data group, but I haven't added um, WW data group to Simon. So we need to tell the directory uh, it's owned by the Apache group. Uh, there, I have put a video up if you need to learn how to put uh, a, a user to the WW data group. Just look at my videos and there's a simple video there showing how you can add your user account to the WW data group so you can upload via FTP to the WW folder and uh, not have any permissions problem well that's a bit of a mouthful but anyway let's carry on so I'm gonna uh, crown that directory to the www data group so sudo crown www data hyphen data that's the user now to do the group so type exactly the same and we want to tell it the, the directory www TV, uh, TV. Um, it's mars.zant.co.uk and I'm going to put a forward stroke on there, I want it recursive um, now I want to ensure that uh, other groups can read it, uh, i.e. Simon so I'm going to put sudo change mod um, 775 recursive hyphen r straight raw www now you you may choose to use more that ideally they're not very secure um 775 is not very secure in terms of the securest uh however just for this video i'm going to use 775 so I don't run into any problem but you may want to use 644 or a bit higher than that so let me type that in okay fantastic now the first thing we, uh the second thing we need to do is Clear that screen, make it nice and clean for you. We need to make a configuration file. So we need to copy the default um, template file, which we can use as our footprint and edit it to uh, use for our new vhost. So uh, by default on Ubuntu, 
uh, this is the directory where it's stored. So we do sudo space cp, which is copy, etc, forward stroke apache2, forward stroke sites available, forward stroke default, which is the file. Now we want to spec uh, specify a new file which we're copying into. So type exactly the same, et forward stroke etc, apache2, forward stroke site hyphen available forward stroke and we're going to call this one mars.zant.co.uk fantastic now what we're going to do is we're going to edit that file now I like using uh, pico you may use nano or vi or, or whatever but it doesn't matter just use your favorite editor so I'm going to do uh, sudo pico forward stroke etc apache2 sites available for stroke mars.zant.co.uk so I can see here um, it's got the defaults and I all I need to do is change those values so first thing I'm going to do don't need to change the server admin I'm going to put a server name as um, Mars Good. Put, uh, change the document root which is mars.zant.co.uk forward stroke and also change the directory down here now if you are going to use uh, be using HT uh, access you need to put all there and you can also put all here as well um, basically let's exit out of that so control X save that if you get problems it's because you didn't type sudo uh, now what we need to tell uh, is we need to tell Apache that we've got a new configuration file that it needs to take into consideration when loading so we're going to clear that and type sudo space a to e n site and now we need to type in our new site name of a configuration file which is mars.zant.co.uk push enter enable insight it's found the file if you get an error message there it's most probably because it can't find the file so now what we need to do is reload the config which is sudo service apache 2 reload uh, could not reliably determine the server name that's because I haven't set up a qualifying domain name don't need to do that if you get that message don't worry um, I'm, I'm satisfied with that loading so it's loaded up my um, my files correctly uh, my config even so let's clear that now let's um, let's hop over to FTP so refresh that Find Mars. Let's make a new fault, a new file. Let's call it index.html. Let's make that font a bit bigger so you can see it. So what we want to do is do a HTML body. Just keep it a uh, simple test. Local test. Don't know why I put a space there. Copy and paste those. That actually needs to go below there. And let's save that file. So, so it's got our file. Let's see if that will now work in uh, in here. Fingers crossed. And as you can see, I can see that my uh, new site is working fine, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, very simple process. Uh, I hope this is beneficial to you and you uh, follow it uh, with ease. If you do have any questions or you get stuck or anything like that, please don't hesitate to use the comments uh, blocks below. Um, if you like this video, then please do, uh, 
subscribe or push the like button. I'll see you soon. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.